Well, we just made a change. We weren't doing too good on the worms. No. <laughs> we decided we were going to do some crankbaiting, you know, uh -huh. but we're still going to use the side planers, correct? Yes. And so forth. It's kind of the same situation. Okay. Now, I want to give everybody a tip before Dwayne says to me, he says, Mike, here's my tackle boxes, and you can see many, many tools in there. He's got two boxes here, and he says, uh, pick out any color you want. Very open. What you look for, when you look for the color, is the ones that's all beat to death. <laughs> you don't pick a new one in there. Don't take anything in the case. You pick an old one that's been beat to death. You know that's caused some fish. Am I right? Dwayne? Right. You don't look for that new one, the shiny one. You look for one that's had some action. Okay. With that being said, <laughs> now we're going to use these here, but we have to have some of the same concerns, the depth that they are, mm -hmm. so forth. And again, I go back to this precision trolling book, and these are uh, 3 8 Storms rattle, rattle tots, and we look those up, and uh, here they are, and they've got the depth curve here, the depth that you that you want to target, and the amount of line back to get to that depth, and we're gonna we're gonna target uh, 15 feet. We want the two outside ones at uh, 85 feet, and okay. uh, the uh, inside ones we're gonna target that down deep, so we're gonna drop them back 180 feet. Okay, great. So. So first number was uh, 85. 85. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That that would tell us just the same race. So we got that depth control, which is we know is critical. You know? Yes, it is critical. All right. So we do the same kind of pattern, inside and out. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got a rattle in it and a wriggle. Oh yeah, it's these are real erratic baits. This one's a rainbow, you said. Metallic rainbow. Metallic, you know that's that's got a nice. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You got to have a little confidence. I got to tell you, you put it out there, right? Uh -huh. You feel the wriggle. You look at the color. You got to have that confidence. If that, if you don't, you might as well just leave it in the boat. You're perfect, right there, Mike. Oh, okay. Wherever you're comfortable works works just great. Oops. Feel a little weight. Can you feel the vibration? No vibration. Well, then you must have fish on it then. I'm going to go ahead and grab the net if you want to stay kind of sort of right about where you're at. Oh, got a white bass. Uh, where are you? Yeah, close. Hey, yeah, I'm good at these white bass. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely am. <laughs> they like that gold, don't they? Isn't yeah. that the same color you caught the last one on? Um, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is.